Are frozen embryos considered living persons? That is the question three, a three-judge panel will try to answer tomorrow. It's a case that stretched down for more than a year after the fertility clinic disaster at university hospitals and a case that could have far-reaching implications for families all across the country. News 5's Homa Bash explains. Last May, a Cuyahoga County judge dismissed this lawsuit, saying that a fertilized embryo didn't deserve the same legal protections as a child. Tomorrow, the couple at the center of this taking their case to the 8th District Court of Appeals. It is the definition of a complicated court case. I want them to declare that the embryos are people. Wendy and Rick Penniman were among more than 900 families impacted during University Hospital's fertility clinic failure. 4,000 eggs and embryos destroyed. Three of the embryos belonging to the Penimans. It's never going to go away. The couple's lawsuit calls for the court to declare that life begins at conception, finding that an embryo is a person. On Wednesday, attorney Bruce Taubman will use modern science to help make his case. It seems to me that when a sperm uh, fertilizes an egg and we have a uh, human embryo, that that's life. But uh, unfortunately, University Hospital doesn't agree. In his 43 years of practicing law, it is one of Taubman's most unique cases. I've never had a case like this. One that many around the country will be watching for the precedent it could set. Because uh, it will help determine when, when life begins. And that's always been an age-old question. They want justice. Brownie Lewis is a law professor at Cleveland State University and an expert on reproductive issues. I think that what's unique about this couple is I don't think it's politics. I don't think it's money. I think they sincerely consider these to be babies. And so in their mind, somebody has killed their children. But Lewis says she believes the chances of judges ruling in the Penniman's favor are slim. I think it's very slim, and I think it's very slim because of Roe versus Wade. Because once you start saying these embryos are people, then you have to say fetuses are people, and then abortion becomes murder. University Hospital sent us the following statement saying, quote, we are sorry for the loss the Penniman family has experienced, and we will continue to address the litigation based on Ohio statutes and case law. We will be in appeals court for tomorrow's hearing and bring you the very latest. Homa Bash, News 5.